everyone, welcome to Fire Soltarum. Today we're looking at uh, what will you love about your future spouse. One, two, three. Hi, everyone, welcome to your reading. Um, so let's have a look at what you what uh, you love about your future spouse. I'm going to put the oracle cards over here and we'll have a look at it um, after the whole reading. So let's start with the tarot. What will Pile One love about their future spouse? Okay, so first of all, you love the fact that um, this person, um, although um, in their past they have been um, let's say uh, overthinking about what kind of choice they needed to take and uh, they've been uh, confused about it um, then they made a choice in love which was you so um, you love the fact that uh, they chose you as, at the end and that you had this um, beautiful uh, beginning of, uh, of a legacy together building up a legacy together so um first of all you're going to love the fact that, that um, um although the difficulties of the past have been there for them and um, finally uh, they they really uh, preferred you uh, above any other choice that they had uh, for them uh, let's see some more the five of wands Again, this uh, indicates that this person uh, had many options. Um, you know, they, they had many different uh, people that were uh, pursuing them in love. Um, but uh, regardless of how many people were there, nobody interested them as much as you did. You were the one that um, fully uh, caught their attention. And then since they met you, uh, nobody else really existed in their eyes. Like they, they focused 100% on you um, and they wanted to build uh, this strong bond with you and, uh, and your future family together. So um, that basically what you're going to love about them is their decisiveness uh, about uh, choosing you as uh, their uh, partner. Let's see some more. Okay, there is too many cards, so I'm going to pull just one more that this is popping out the Aerophant you love how committed they are to you uh, how traditional this person is uh, this person has got a strong um, uh, traditional values like a family you know building a family together um, having children um, if if that's what you want together uh, or anyway building a, a family unit uh, in a sense of uh, home together so this is what you are going to love about them at the bottom of the deck uh, there is the seven of swords so um i'm going to clarify actually because uh, i want to find out what's about the seven of swords let's see hold on let me try again because too many cards came out so what about the seven of swords what are they going to love about their future spouse hold on there you go seven of cups okay mm -hmm. let me see one more to clarify the seven of swords and the seven of cups one more card five of cups at the bottom four of pentacles okay let me see so, Paluan, this is, this is telling a story. Your person went through uh, some betrayal in their life. Somebody uh, cheated, lied uh, to them and uh, betrayed them. And um, therefore, they were very confused emotionally at some point of their life uh, on uh, which road, uh, which uh, choice they should take uh, in order to uh, feel better and uh, what kind of changes should they make and what kind of, in order to feel uh, emotionally um, more secure uh, this situation that they went through brought a lot of sadness and um, a sense of, of being very distraught in their feelings 
um, and uh, brought them to have a period where they were uh, closing up um, to the world they were very much just minding uh, their own uh, self and they, they were very uh, closed off to every everybody and protecting their heart and any of their uh, even even materially they were very uh, overly protective uh, and this uh, was leading to a lot of um, uh, indecisiveness initially when you met um, about uh, you know should I jump forward in this situation or not but then um, eventually um, they did make it make a choice to love you so um, the thing about them that you love given this situation again is the fact that uh, no matter how much baggage they accumulated in their life from previous uh, situations uh, they still uh, made the choice to um, start again from zero from scratch and to to move forward and uh, and to you know uh, try to fulfill their wishes and not to be uh, jaded by the past so this is uh, what uh, you're going to love about them uh, now we've seen with this spread i want to have a look with um, uh, more of an on a physical level um, and uh, this can describe also other characteristics of your person but let's see um, more on a physical level with the, this um, tarot of, of uh, um, this is called the sexual tarot yeah so basically this got uh, very um very much um, pictures about uh, more physical uh, interactions so we'll have a look at this so um what uh, what will you love about your future spouse let's see so we have the four of uh, cups the nine of swords the knight of uh, cups and the three of swords let's see one more and then the bottom of the deck one more for the spread the full and then at the bottom of the deck the ten of pentacles okay let me have a look okay so what um, you're going to love about them is the fact that there is um, this feeling between the two of you of uh, complicity uh, the two of you share your secrets uh, and um, are able to keep these secrets within your couple and uh, no one else will have access to, to this very important information, very private information. Um, so there is going to be a lot of um, also playfulness in that because you might be like whispering sweet things to each other and nobody else will hear that but yet the two of you will be very much... Um, you know involved in this kind of interaction where uh, where you feel very close to each other and uh, and this sense of uh, complicity as i said um with the nine of swords this what they're going to love is the fact that this person is absolutely um, borderline obsessed with you because uh, they are always uh, in their thoughts about you so they they would be thinking about you a lot uh, and you're going to love that you're going to love how much they are um feeling um, interested in you and um, and very much uh, looking for you um, a lot, like uh, most of the time um, you're not going to feel uh, in any way uh, overlooked uh, or um, or um, neglected by this person very much nurtured and um, and um, also like um, very um, you know they're going to be very attracted to you and you're going to love that um also you're going to love uh how much romantic this person is um uh, they are uh, a very um, they, they can offer a very sweet type of romance so uh, they have a soft approach they uh, take things slowly uh, they have their eyes on you but uh, they will let you know in a very um gentle manner and um, they're not going to scare you off so you see the way this person is naked here but yet she's looking curious at the other one uh, waiting for them uh, and she's not scared she's only like uh, kind of looking out and seeing uh, what this person w would like but uh, she doesn't look scared um and because he's approaching in a in a sort of a gentle way um, so this is a very much of a gentleman um, and um, 
also um, with the three of swords um, you see the look on the face of this person that looks at this other person so this person is going your future spouse um, is going to be totally entranced by you uh, and vice versa because um, he, he, he might be even playing an instrument and uh, you know um, show you their, um, their willingness of uh, creating a nice environment for you with candles with um, soft music uh, even if they don't play an instrument they're going to try to create um, a comforting environment whereby you forget about the pain of the past the three of swords the, the heartbreaks that you've had uh, it's all in the past and uh, you know um, basically they are uh, they're all dedicated to you and uh, nothing else matters uh, beside uh, the two of you um with the fool here i see that uh, also you are going to love uh, that they're going to take a lot of initiative um, towards you the you know even in a passionate sense you see the snake um so they're going to be an enthusiastic person with a very high level of energy and uh, you know they they are going to um involve you and uh, propose to you new adventures to go for something exciting together so it seems like a, a person that very much is um has got a sense of uh, enterpri enterprise a sense of initiative and you're going to love that and also again um the family tradition comes again with the ten of pentacles so this person uh, wants to form a very stable bond with you, uh, with the family uh, and they're going to want to really nurture you, bring you food, uh, give you gifts, uh, make a comfortable space for you, create a nice environment where the two of you can flourish in this uh, union between the two of you. Okay, so this is what I see with this spread of cards. And now we're going to have a look at the last spread with the Reverie Lanormand. So what are you going to love about this person? Pile one. About your future spouse. What, what is it that you're going to love about them? Let's see. Oh, this one fell on the ground. The dog. You're going to love how loyal they are to you. That they're always looking for uh, time to spend together. Even in a playful manner with uh, this red, I see a lot of passion and and also very much of a sweetness. You see this is a puppy. Um, so you're going to really um, love the fact that they're completely dedicated to you. Uh, number 18 might be relevant to you. Number 10 also. Uh, let's see more. What are you going to love about... This one was falling, the bear. So again, the sense of protection that this person gives you. Um, they're going to be very much nurturing towards you. Uh, the bear is like, you know, the if you think of, a, for example, of a, of a mother bear, is extremely careful with their, uh, protective with their, um, uh, with their children or with their pups, you know, uh, with their litter. So uh, the same will be happening with uh, your partner. You're going to see this very protective side of them. They're going to be really value uh, family as a, as a value. Basically, they believe in family. Um, so uh, that's again another message that's confirming itself again and again. Let me see more. What? So you have loyalty, protection... This is what, what you're going to love about them. Um, with, now, the, it doesn't matter the gender of this picture, no matter if you're a man or a woman, interested in men or women. But uh, basically, the, you're going to love the fact that this, this is your person. You're going to feel like this is the one that was destined for you. You see, this is the divine feminine. So um, basically, uh, you feel like this is a divine connection, something that... Uh, uh, it was meant for you this person was meant for you number 29 might, might be relevant and uh, there is a letter a so this could be either your initial or one of their initials um let's see a few more what is pile one going to love about them The bridge at uh, 38 so 38 could be relevant again um now the, with the bridge um 
you love the fact that this person is all about connections they love connecting with other people creating bridges and therefore uh, having a community so um, um, a stable community of people around them that uh, they can uh, uh, meet up with and, and have a proper bond with so this is a person that uh, loves creating connections significant connections not, not just for the sake of it um, let's see more with the coffin yeah this is um, a person that um, uh, you know they um, they very much uh, are at peace with uh, closing out cycles of their past whatever was meant to live their life they are in p at peace with it so um you're you what you're going to love is the fact that uh, this person uh, doesn't uh, bring the baggage uh, in the current in the present moment uh, they, uh, they they've let it go they've let it die uh, what the past is in the past and they're just uh, focused on the present with you and uh, building something together at the bottom of the deck we have the um, clouds uh, number six could be relevant there is also a k that could be either your initials or their initials um, number nine could also be relevant to you uh, but with the clouds um, what you're going to love is that um, no matter what uh, happened you know the darkness that has been in their life they have looked at the brighter side and um, so um, this is about uh, change this is about uh, you know coming from a dark place and moving towards something more positive for your um, present and future therefore so this is a this is one of the traits you love about this person the fact that they're able to you know res uh, resurrect from the from the ashes resurrect from something that has burned them in the past something that has been heavy for them in the past but they they still uh, have, uh, you know, gone through it and uh, come to the light again. So this is what I see for what you are going to love. Now let's have a look at the final message with the Oracle cards. So you have uh, trust, recovery. Trust in that there is going to be recovery. So um, this could be uh, recovery in your situation uh, if you're going through some challenging times or it could, or trust it uh, there could be a recovery um in the life of your future spouse or or um or if you already know this person trust is, there is going to be a recovery uh, in the relationship with this person if you have if you have gone the two of you through a moment of uh, uh, disconnect and separation so this was your message pile one Please subscribe to my channel, that would be very helpful and uh, to su support me so I can give you more readings. And thank you very much and see you next. Hi Pal2, welcome to your reading. Um, so if you chose this ring, this is your reading. Um, now I'm going to put the oracle cards for later and we're going to start with the uh, tarot. What is uh, pile number two going to love about their future spouse? Partial pile two. Let's see. Okay. Five cards spread. Okay, so we have the tower, the king of pentacles, the knight of swords, two more, the three of wands, One more, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna pull it from the middle because it's not popping up. The two of pentacles, and then at the bottom of the deck, let's see. The knight of pentacles. Okay, so pile two. Um, what I can see is that um, this person, the thing that you will love the most about them is uh, actually their sense of stability. So this person um, is gone through some major uh, fallout in their life and yet they maintained the calmness 
to um, keep something um, to the, for themselves. You see the nuts here. This uh, symbolizes that this person has been able to maintain something for the um, hard times during uh, during a challenging time of their life. So uh, squirrels preserve their nuts for winter time when it's uh, harsh conditions of. Uh, to find food and so this person has been able even in challenging times to maintain something stable to them for themselves and they've uh, actually done this all their life uh, to the point that they've become this king of pentacles somebody extremely grounded um, that uh, is uh, financially secure very uh, stable uh, within themselves and physically you know, in a material sense and uh, and also in an emotional sense. This is a, a very balanced and wise type of person. Uh, but at the same time, they've maintained this uh, ability to take action when needed uh, in a very swift kind of manner. And uh, they're not uh, uh, backing down uh, when it's needed to put in some effort and uh, go the extra mile. This is a person that will uh, jump to the occasion and just go for it. So it's not something that somebody that's been going to be lazy and, uh, you know, uh, this is very much of an action oriented person uh, ready for anything. Uh, in fact, they are always looking for the next uh, goals and challenges in life uh, ahead of them. And they look at it in a positive way, with passion. They don't, uh, uh, they don't look at uh, things like, oh, uh, kind of crying over spilt milk, or they're not going to be the type of person that's uh, playing the, the victim, you know, in a situation, even if uh, it's not easy. Uh, they're just going to basically look at what possibilities are ahead of them and uh, they're going to uh, evaluate and then uh, move with uh, passion, determination and uh, with action towards uh, their goals. Uh, this person uh, has been able in their life um, to juggle a lot, to um, maintain balance no matter how many things were they were juggling in their life. There could have been uh, different responsibilities that they had to face. So what you're going to love about them is this ability to, um, you know, recalibrate themselves, to bring balance uh, constantly. No matter what's going on, they're, they're constantly going to be able to adjust to the situation. They're a very flexible type of individual. Um, and again, with the Knight of Pentacles, they go for uh, their goals in a steady uh, pace, uh, steady steps, uh, very... Uh, calculated uh, they are going to have a precise objective and then uh, making a plan about how to get there so this is a, a, an absolute rock this person is going to be a rock in your life and that's why you're going to love them and uh, now with this spread this is what i saw i want to see more on the physical terms what kind of uh, physical traits of this person or physical interactions with this person you're going to love or uh, this could also talk about more about their personality and characteristics. Let's see. So what is pile number two going to love about their future spouse? The Ace of Cups, the King of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Let's see more. I'm going to take two more. The King of Wands and what else? Let's see. One more. One more. And then the bottom of the deck. Let's see. One more. This was bouncing. Well, let me, let me shuffle more. One more for... There. Uh, the Two of Pentacles again. This is repeating. Um, and let's see. At the bottom, we have the Devil. Okay, so... Basically, what you're going to love about this person is that they are com going to be completely in love with you. They're going to show you their love. Uh, in a very expressive and emotional way. Uh, at the same time, though, they're going to be able to be um, logical about things and, you know, be in charge when it's needed. So this is not just a rock, it's an emotional person. So they're going to be able to balance two aspects, being expressive in their, of their emotions for you and being very stable. And therefore, you're going to feel like you can trust this person 100% um, to the point that you don't mind, uh, you know, doing uh, something for them as well. You see the, the way she's kneeling down, ready to do something for them. So you're, you're actually going to uh, enjoy pleasing them because you know that you can fully trust them. 
and uh, that um, you know this person is uh, is extremely reliable um, with the nine of cups you're going to love the attention that they give you they are completely dedicated to you and um, you know there is um, there is really like nothing they wouldn't uh, give you uh, food uh, uh, a fan if you're hot uh, a lamp if there is no light uh, uh, a flower if you are feeling like uh, you know you want a bit of romance uh, uh, some cake anything sweet they, they're just like uh, a really a nurturing person really attentive to your needs um, and with the king of wands uh, here is another king this is a very mature person that you're we're talking about you know uh, there are two kings here not just one so this person is embodying not only a king that is very logical but another one that's very passionate this person is all around is an all-rounder they have emotions passion and uh, sorry logic and passion they're uh, they're the complete package this is a, an absolute catch um and uh, with the two of pentacles uh, they're going to um not only there is the message about the uh, original spread that we saw already uh, the ability to juggle situations and uh, be stable still um but also there is the this uh, thing that are going to court you you see the way she's facing back and is uh, there trying to convince her to turn around so they're going to be very convincing to towards you're going to love the um, the flirting that's going to be on uh, to the, the chase towards you you're going to be loving um, the the type of environment they're going to create in order to attract you to them. This is a very dominant person. This is a this is very much of a of a leader. This is um, somebody that's uh, going to lead with love, uh, lead with passion. Uh, they they really are uh, an all rounder in my opinion. By looking at this spread, and with the devil there is going to be uh, obsession. Probably reciprocal, like you're going to be completely obsessed about each other. You're just going to, not going to be able to take your hands off of each other. And this, there's going to be like sparks and um, I can see like a lot of, uh, you know, uh, physical interactions between, between you and a lot of uh, satisfaction in that kind of regard as well. So this seems like a very good spread in my opinion. Um, now I want to look, so this is for these cards. Now I want to look at the... Reverie Lenormand, one more spread we'll do and then we'll have a look at your oracle card. Let me see here. So what is uh, pile number two going to love about their future spouse? Let's see, what does this say? 22, the, this is the stairway with the choices. Basically, um, this person is able to ascend to um, certain heights in order to... Uh, to pick a choice now no matter what choice they pick uh, because uh, this is a stairway that goes up uh, basically their life is going to be um, kind of always like uh, looking as in uh, they're progressing in their life this is very much of a progressive person uh, they have this progressive thinking uh, they want to achieve new goals all the time they want to make their life better so um, a very decisive person, very much ambitious. Um, letter Q could be relevant to is in your initial or their initial. Uh, number 22 could also be relevant for you. And number 22 is a number of union or kind of partnership. Uh, so you're going to love this determination about and this ambition. Let's see more. They are also a knowledgeable person with the book. Number 26 could be relevant, number 10 as well. Now with with this, uh, this is also somebody that uh, not, uh, is, is also you know is cultured. So this person, um, all through like the, throughout their life, they have been building their knowledge, they have been studying, they have been cultivating themselves. So this is not an ignorant. This is somebody that uh, you know that uh, has always uh, planted seeds and seen them grow, uh, even just as uh, in gathering information, gathering knowledge. So it's a very interesting person, I would say very mature wise uh, let's see um, what you're going to love about them well this person is also extremely capable of looking through um, people like they're going to look beyond the mask see beyond what people are presenting to themselves in front of them they're going to actually be able to evaluate uh, a person uh, they have uh, this ability of uh, following you know their gut feelings about uh, 
somebody and uh, look beyond the mask so even if there is somebody that's like tricky uh, hard to read they're going to be able to do that to, to kind of um, take off the mask of these people uh, they might not even uh, tell them that they're able to do that but they just are going to do it so they can better uh, you know um, uh, guide themselves through the their life you know to make uh, you know the, your life and their life better because they're able to look through um, things which could be tricky uh, you know people that can uh, they, they want to um, deceive you or things like that let's see more i'm gonna take two more okay look at this the five with the this is the tree of life this is basically um this the thing you are going to love about them is the fact that they want to build with you something solid and uh, a legacy that um, you feel like a uh, soul family that uh, you have a soul bond uh, this card is uh, is extremely beautiful in a spouse reading um, i'm really happy for you and um uh number seven could be also relevant or number five um and so it's going to be a very stable relationship between the two of you not everybody gets married and there is a st stability about it but this shows that you're going to love the stability that this person is offering to you so this spread is amazing and you see the fox we were talking about people deceiving so they're going to uh, get through this deceive deceiving people these people that are you know, uh, lying, uh, stealing, uh, they're going to look through this, uh, no problem, and uh, find out, uh, and, uh, you know, mm, they're going to be able to navigate through life and guide uh, the two of you and create stability with the house at the back here. So I see this as a very positive spread. The number nine could be relevant, number 14 as well. And with the, with, this is the man in the deck. So um this man is uh, extremely um you see the look on, in their eyes this man is a very uh, determined very determined and also romantic we said it before um so this this is a repeating message um a could be their initial or your initial number 28 could be relevant to you so this was an amazing uh, spread let me tell you uh, an amazing reading for you now i'm going to have a look as last uh, to the oracle card what they say so here we are you actually got three the other groups got two but you got three oracle cards no reconsider and meditation brings answers let me just uh, think about it for a minute okay so the first message that uh, i got from these cards is that uh, he says, no, you need to reconsider something. Now, if you already have met this person and something went wrong between the two of you, this card is uh, asking you to reconsider the situation. Now, I'm going to clarify with Tarot just to double check what's this. And also, there is um, a call to meditate uh, because uh, going into meditation is going to bring you answers about this situation. It seems like you might have already uh, known this person, but we're going to check with Tara. I'm going to take the other deck. I want to use the rather weight Tarot deck to check about this um, um, advice that you got. So let me see. So what is no about? What, uh, what should uh, pile number two... Um, let's clarify no. What should pile two know about this no what exactly is this about there are four cards that fell off let me have a look at them okay we have the six of pentacles the king of wands the strength and the queen of pentacles let me just meditate for a minute on these cards the message that i'm getting here is that uh, if you already met this person um don't hold back from their offer um, they see you as their spouse and um, uh, they want to give you an equal and reciprocal uh, exchange of energy they want to have uh, an equal partnership now I'm going to clarify the reconsider because I want to double check that this is the actual message for you pal too let me see reconsider what is this about ace of cups Four of Wands, 
and this was bouncing three of cups with the star at the bottom of the deck look at this spread it's pretty amazing reconsider this situation because this is true love with the four of wands this is your future spouse it's confirmed uh, this is the marriage card with the three of cups it's going to be a celebration of marriage and with the star um this is your wish uh, that you have wished upon a star let's put it that way so this is your uh, this is something that you have wished for so reconsider the situation because um this is your wish and this is happening and uh, what should you meditate about let me let me see what should you meditate about i want to clarify this with taro okay five of wands devil and let's see one more let's see file two the chariot and at the bottom of the deck nine of cups so the message that's coming through here is uh, meditate and you know reflect on what happened between the two of you it seems like you already know this person because uh, with the five or if you don't this could be something that's going to happen when you meet this person. You might have a moment of uh, disconnect, separation, and you're going to have to go through this process where you reflect on the conflict that happened between the two of you. With the devil, um, you see, the devil is about illusions. So if a conflict happened and then you, have, and then you get the, this idea that, oh, this is not working, this is absolutely not really what I look for and, and things like that. This can be an illusion because, um, you know, if you move forward from this fear that's blocking you, then you're going to have your uh, fulfillment of wishes. So this is the message I'm getting. Uh, so when this is going to happen, unless it's already happening or has happened, uh, this is what the process you have to go through. You have to meditate, move forward, and uh, you know uh, reconsider the situation because this is uh, your happiness these are all positive cards you see these are all very positive cards so yeah that's your reading uh, pile two i hope this was helpful and uh, please subscribe i really need um you know uh, so support for this channel and so i can give you more readings thank you very much and take good care of yourself see you next Hi, pal number three, welcome to your reading. If you picked this uh, ring, this is your reading. I'm going to put the oracle cards beside and we're going to start with the tarot. So let's have a look. Um, how? What will uh, pile number three love about their future spouse? Let's see. Okay, let's see these cards. The Four of Pentacles, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Page of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. Okay. Okay, pile number three. I was uh, meditating on your cards, and what's uh, transpiring is the fact that... Uh, you're going to love the fact that this person knows their value. They know what they're capable of. And what they're capable of mostly is the fact that they're able to manifest uh, things in their life and make their dreams come to reality. See the way this person is dreaming about uh, something here. They're calling in whatever they are wishing for. So this, this is a very powerful person that you're dealing with as your future spouse. This person is able to create something from nothing, to create a vision in their head and, and bring it to reality by practical steps with the pentacles here. So they take practical steps to build something and they're going to do this with you. You see, this is a family building something together. So what you're going to love about them is this ability to cooperate uh, as a team and uh, bring about in bring about in life to bring forward and create something very beautiful together uh, a family i see so you, you most likely also a family if that's what you want um with the page of pentacles this person what you love about them is the fact that they're going to be a generous person 
offering something to you even materially the, you know they're very communicative as well and uh, and also the sense of stability they can offer to you with the four of wands they're offering you a home uh, a stable uh, place to uh, live together and be joyous about it so this is also a person that not only is offering stability is a dreamer but is also um, somebody that loves to have fun together loves to celebrate so this is a very joyous person this is a person full of enthusiasm for life and uh, and also very passionate you see the ones in the four of ones and the three of ones uh, they have a flame in them they uh, they have these dreams and visions you see the way this, they're looking on the horizon what's going to happen next what's the next adventure so they're a very adventurous person uh, but there is also a grounded side of them so it, this is a balanced type of person uh, it's not just somebody that's daydreaming and you know fantasizing about things and nothing happens this is a very uh concrete person as well so they have this dreamy side and then they bring it to reality it's absolutely beautiful now this is what i see for this spread but let's see about more physical characteristics uh, physical interaction between the two of you what are you going to love about that part let's see pile number three what's pile number three going to love about their future spouse okay they really fell out strongly now the six of wands the chariot the hermit the lovers the queen of wands we have more here at the bottom the hanged man the ten of pentacles the three of pentacles and the king of cups see for example just for starters i mean see that the way the three of pentacles is repeated again it was in the previous spread and now it's back again here. So again, there's this concept of uh, being much of a team. Even, even in your physical interactions, it's going to be very much of a, let's call it teamwork. You know, you're going to really please each other in, as in a team. Um, and, um, and you're going to cooperate uh, with each other really well. And you're going to feel very supported by this person. Also, uh, with the Six of Wands, as I said before, this is a very passionate uh, person. Passionate for life, but also passionate about you. So you're going to love about, uh, that about them. Uh, they're really going to love um, also your, um, especially your back backside. Uh, or you could be loving their their back uh, side um you know th this this can be read also this way depending on uh, you know but yeah i suppose uh, we could say we're reading about what you love about them so you're going to love their backside and uh, this physically but then uh, you're going to love the fact that they're extremely passionate and they're always seeking uh, your touch your company your physical interactions with the chariot, uh, they, they're um, going to move forward pretty much as in a dominant type of way. So they're going to, depending obviously if you're more of a feminine or masculine energy, uh, you know, swap the, swap the, you know, the reverse, you know, the situation and the energies if needed. But uh, what you're going to love is uh, if you're more of a feminine, their dominant side. They're going to guide you through this physical experience uh, between the two of you. Uh, and then... Also with, uh, with the hermit, uh, this is also a person that's uh, uh, reflective at times, that um, you know withdraws, uh, I think because they are uh, going into this uh, vision type of mode, they're, envis they're envisioning what they want to achieve. And, um, and so uh, they're going to be very reflective as well, and you're going to love this aspect of them. You're probably going to want to explore these reflections that they're having as well. Um, and then when they pull out of their cave, though, of reflection, then they're coming and seeking you. You see the in the picture here. So, um, you know, there is a good balance between uh, having time to, to themselves to envision things and then coming back to you to have some passionate time together. With the king, with the queen of uh, wands, um, you're going to love the fact that they see you as a very passionate uh, person too. You're extremely uh, sexy, very, very uh, attractive to them. And so you're going to be pulled like magnets to each other. With the lovers, uh, there is a duality about this person. They have two sides. One is more, uh, let's say, looks a bit more timid. And that's probably their facade. And then there is this very kinky side of them. This very 
uh, you know, intrigue inside um, of them. So you're going to notice this, this duality and you're going to love that. Uh, because it's not monotonous it's uh, you know it's very uh, for you it's very intriguing for you it's something to discover about them uh, also you're going again to love their backside this is the depiction again um, but uh, also the fact that uh, this person is capable of um, taking a, uh, a different sp perspective on, on things and uh, putting themselves in your shoes or somebody else's shoes so this is an, an empathic type of person it's not somebody that's uh, indifferent to people very cold or something like that no this is a person that's very much able to empathize with others uh, understand their feelings and therefore have uh, different ways of looking at things it's not it's very flexible type of uh, person um also with the ten of pentacles you're going to love the fact that this person is totally dedicated to you wanting to offer you a comfort environment to live in wanting to offer you food any gifts anything that can make your life feel at ease comfortable so you're going to love this side as well and with the king of cups uh, this person is extremely emotionally uh, available loving uh, uh, very mature emotionally so you're going to love how sweet they are how uh, understanding they are um, how, how much they are uh, you know being also uh, careful about your own emotions and handling them in a very mature way so this is not any mature person at all um okay now we've seen with this spread and i want to look at the reverie normal now Let's see more about this person. What are you going to love about the Empire Tree? What, what is um, that you're going to love about your future spouse? Let me see more with this deck. You're going to love the fact that they're extremely abundant. You see, the fact that they're able to manifest things in life, it means that you're going to be have all sorts of richness emotional richness you have seen with the king of uh, of um, cups you're going to so have an emotionally rich type of uh, experience with them in life you're going to also have abundance in terms of prosperity uh, financially and materially uh, it doesn't mean like you have to be a millionaire uh, you can be simply very content with your finances with your situations feeling comfortable within your practical life Number 34 could be relevant and K could be the initial of you or the future spouse. With 27 here, the letter, this person is extremely good at communicating uh, specifically uh, emotions. Um, they're very um, emotionally mature, as we said, and they, they're going to let you know exactly how they feel about you. This is not going to be a secret. This is not going to be a guessing game. Um, you're not going to have to be there wondering how are they feeling, what's going on with them. They're going to be expressive about it. They're going to let you know. Very communicative person. Number 27 could be relevant. Number 7 as well. Let's see more. What are you going to love about this person? This person, as uh, we saw, is going to be somebody that um, moves forwards in life. Uh, they're going to, uh, you know, uh, take their chances to create uh, something abundant you see the rainbow this is another symbol of uh, of abundance and and uh, happiness so this person is very much of a forward uh, thinking type of person so you're going to love this aspect about them very um very dynamic person let me see more so this person is going to look through uh, through masks. This person is going to be able to understand people, no matter what type of mask they're wearing. Um, so, uh, you know, they're going to be able to very much be of guidance, even to you. Uh, if, you're, if you don't have this kind of uh, sensitivity and ability, I see, a, uh, I see a water sign for you. Like this could be a Pisces, Scorpio, a Cancer, very much more. Maybe, maybe that's a very relevant, uh, predominant uh, in their chart um i see a lot of water in this in these spreads uh, let me see and as well yeah i saw, saw it earlier before with the with the page of cups you know there's a lot of water in this chart in this spread uh, let me see more one last card and then we look at the bottom of the deck what are you going to love about this uh, about your future spouse let's see 
the cross, the ability that they have to carry burdens in life and not even look like it is a burden to them. Uh, they're able to uh, withstand uh, challenges. And uh, the 36 could be a relevant number to you uh, and uh, number 6 as well. And let's see about the bottom of the deck, 29, the woman. Uh, what you're going to love about them is the fact that it, this is uh, your relevant uh, person. This is your person. You're going to feel like uh, um, this was destined to you. This is um, the, the one person that was just for you. Um, also, they have a passionate side. You see the rose here. They have a very, a very dreamy side. You see the way she's kind of in a daydream and very passionate side so you have both both type of words uh, there um the best of both let's say and the uh, letter a could be relevant as your initial or their initial uh, as well as number 29 so um yeah uh, you feel like uh, this person is your soulmate uh, you're the one destined to you for you and that's what you're gonna love about them Okay, these feelings of a uh, soul bond, you know, that kind of thing. Right, so this was the spread. And then let me have a look at uh, your oracle card. I want to see what does it say. So, um, yes, in the near future. So, uh, if you haven't met this person yet, yes, this is going to happen in the near future. Uh, or if you already met this person in the near future, you're going to get married. This is what the cards are uh, are showing. Um, so pile number three, I hope this uh, resonated with you. I hope this helped in any way. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel. I really need the support uh, to grow the channel so I can bring forward more messages and continue with this work. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, take good care of yourself and see you next.